Hello, and welcome to I Wish I Knew. And we are back from Christmas, and hopefully everybody had a good holiday. I know I did. How about you, Garrett? Did you have a good holiday? Not bad, not bad. Yeah, same. Um, tonight is the last night of 2022, so Happy New Year to anybody watching this, which would be probably you and me, but it's fine. Yeah. May, may this year burn in hell. <laughs> yeah. But Garrett is here with me as usual. Say hi, Garrett. Hey, Garrett. <laughs> and just as a friendly reminder, if you are on YouTube, you can see us here on Twitch every Saturday night at 9, unless it happens to fall on Christmas Eve, because we're not going to do this on Christmas Eve, apparently. Um, well, uh, I was ready. You were not. I know. Well, I have too many families, so I ha could not. But uh, <laughs> um, My sad and loneliness pays off once again. <laughs> Um, anyways, if you miss these, usually, if you miss us live, we'll be here on YouTube at at least nine on Mondays. I've been getting them out by Sunday, but I gave myself the deadline of Monday, so Sunday or Monday, either one. Uh, but so anyways, uh, also last week was a bit of a bust, so this is episode four because I'm an idiot and I don't set up, uh, my OBS correctly, so... All of Garrett's audio was lost. I guess this is the Go problem. watch it. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. I swear. <laughs> I guess it's the problem with doing this live. That's why nobody does this shit live, right? Fuck okay, it. We're <laughs> doing it live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I didn't post that on YouTube because it's literally ridiculous. Um, you're only getting one half of the conversation. Uh, Garrett had the best part of the conversations. And cool. yeah, as usual. But unfortunately, it is what it is. But we have figured it out for this week. And this week, we, uh, we're we going to be talking about vaccines, so eek. We're going to be uh, alienated. Look, if you're alienated, yeah. we didn't want you anyway. Yeah, right. But also, too, um, just hang out. It's going to be good. And also, now I'm hearing here in Satisfactory, our entire power grid just failed, so we're going to yeah. do that while yeah. talking about vaccines. Yeah, and, um, yeah... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it's, it's going great. We're off to a good start. We're only if, five minutes late today, so that's good. If we get public demand, we will post Brian talking to himself on YouTube. <laughs> if, if you request it, we will do it. Yeah, we're uh, we're not bashful. That's fine. So Garrett, for the masses, in case somebody doesn't know, because this is stuff that people wish they. Do or should wish they knew at least. What are vaccines? Uh okay, well how how technical do you want me to be here? <laughs> as least technical as possible. We have to we have to hit it's the greatest magic, common denominator. It's a magic potion. It contain it okay, so it's a tiny it's the flu. You take the flu and you shrink him down really little and you put him in your arm. And he's really easy for your body to beat up, so they beat him up. And then he comes back full size, and they're like, "This guy was easy to beat up, so they do it faster." <laughs> I think that's that's pretty good. That's weirdly good. Um, yeah, if, if, yeah, that's pretty much all the average guy needs to know. Actually, you know what? Um, so, if, in case anybody is watching this, we don't really rehearse what we're gonna say for these. That's what makes these so great. Um, that's that's. Oddly accurate. So of course it's accurate. I'm I'm always accurate. Yeah. Um so a little on the more technical side, yeah, uh vaccines, they will take a virus, deactivate it, inject it into you, and teach your body how to recognize it. But I like Garrett's uh, more. So do you know how long vaccines have been around, Garrett? Uh well uh smallpox when smallpox got done with that was the first vaccine was I believe against smallpox yeah so they have been around for almost 300 years at least as far as we know yeah I'm not familiar with um, when smallpox yeah so, you know, before vaccines, though, um, not to do all the tongue-in-cheek stuff, but before vaccines, you know, um, 
there were a whole mess of ways you could die from diseases. This planet is a pretty garbage planet, all things considered, right? Yeah. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't want us here. It, it certainly seems like that sometimes. We because... are the invasive species. That's yeah. the thing about global warming. The planet, not going to worry too much. All the people will die, which the planet doesn't really care about. Right. Yeah. Um, it, this planet, the whole ecosystem is very indifferent towards our existence. And honestly, we just really kind of force our existence onto this planet. And it, it's, it's, it's bucking that system pretty good. So, you know. We need to be... I guess basically what I'm saying is we need to be a little bit nicer. <laughs> but, so the whole reason why I wanted to talk about vaccines is because we're... At, it's the end of 2022, right? Oh, I forgot what year yeah. it was for a second there. Yeah. Well, it's about to get worse if you're already forgetting. Yeah. Well, it's the end of 2022. Um, also, kind of the end of all the COVID mess, at least for us in the U.S., right? We're pretty much fully open. We have been for a couple months. And yeah, it's, it's up for grabs if we're ignoring it or if it's actually gone. Right. I think we're just ignoring it personally um either way we were going to do that anyways Doesn't some matter. of you may die but that's a risk i'm willing to take yeah exactly it's not like uh it's it's not like anybody was following the rules anyways so who cares at this point um damn i need more miners i'm trying to set up our coal mine that we have over here yeah uh do we have like did you fix the electricity no, I, I didn't. I was actually just messing around with it. Remember when we logged off next time, so just to kind of gear change real quick, when we logged off last time, which was over two weeks ago, we were setting up a new outpost for coal mining because we were running onto an electrical problem. Well, it looks yeah. like that electrical problem has called home, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm having a terrible time over here. My it's... Apparently, you can lock Alt on on your keyboard somehow. And I, I don't know how, but I did. And so it was not happy. All those pings you saw, that was me having a stroke. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't it was know. not. Yeah. I did it's not fixed know what now, that though. was. <laughs> I think it's fixed. I don't know. What materials do you need? I think I've got the tractor running. Uh, I actually need portable miners. So if you could make a few of those, that would be great. I need a ton of those. I actually. ought to be able to. I have um, like four. Not there's resources those. around here. Also, I just killed a dog that had a jetpack, and I picked up a jetpack from it, and I don't know hey, if I'm... Did yeah. you kill Lizard Doggo? No, 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 Lizard Doggo. It was one of, the, like, the pig ones. And Why had... did the pig have a jetpack? Dude, I don't know. Um, I have never seen that before. Something doesn't smell right. Is this the experimental um, version doing weird shit? You know, it could very well be. So you have a jetpack now. I do, but I don't have any fuel. Uh, what kind of fuel does a jetpack take? Uh, what kind of fuel Anything flammable? It does take... Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, no, I think it just takes normal fuel. Like the packaged fuel? Yeah. Oh, well, we don't have that yet. Go right. I'm at a loss here. How do I make portable miners? What are they under? They're going to be in the equipment factory. All oh, right, equipment workshop. Yep. It's been so long since we needed a portable miner. I know, and I'm like, I'm sitting over here too, and I'm like, we're going uh, backwards. Yeah, we, we kind of regressed a little bit. That's that week off really killed us here. Speaking of regressing, vaccinations. Yeah, that was one hell of a segue, my bud. <laughs> Some of us seem to be regressing there. Yeah. So. You know, it's the end of 2022. Obviously, COVID is a big stickler in everybody's ass, right? It's it's chapping everybody. Um, I guess that's kind of what I want to talk about, though, is is basically what the hate is around vaccines because this it goes further than just COVID. It it goes as far as um, like you know, we have the Amish communities that are not wanting to vaccinate their kids. They're right? Amish. They've always been weird. True. It, it's a simple life. <laughs> Is it? But it seems fairly straightforward, at least. Yeah, 
But they don't vaccinate, so they get like crazy measles va- or outbreaks and crazy shit like that. And then now you they, have they, like they. you have like the Karens that are like, I'm not gonna give my my kid the polio vaccine because I don't want him to get polio. And it's like the okay. Karen who is only alive because she got the polio vaccine. That's what I'm saying. You notice That's... people who are vaccin aren't vaccinated aren't usually um not vaccinating their children because yeah. you know they're fucking dead. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's exactly the whole point that I want to get around is that, you know, we have vaccines for a reason, right? So before we had them, smallpox had a high mortality rate. It was thirty something percent at at like the lowest Just estimates. A lot. Yeah. So like, if you got it, you're pretty much dead. If not, it messed you up. And then polio. You think pol- four portable miners is enough? Yeah, that's that's all I need. All right. And then polio, yeah, polio was nasty. Yeah, so like if aging FDR, if it didn't kill you, it would paralyze you, which then would kill you. And the only way people could survive is if they put you in a damn iron lung. Which you know, there's still a guy out there yep. in an iron lung. I just saw that somewhere. Like I he, saw it. He's grown used to it. He, I think he's a lawyer. Actually, he can like come out for a little bit, but not long. Yeah, I mean it's it's nuts though. Like, I don't and you know like if we're if we had a younger audience viewing this, if you don't know what an iron lung is, you need to look it up. So an iron lung is a compression chamber that you lay down in, and it breathes for you. Yeah, you and, stick. It's like um, it's a great it's a big tube that they shove you in with only your head sticking out. Yep. And and science magic magic. It moves the air in and out of your lungs. So it's super hard to talk because you can't control your respirations. You can't eat. You gotta have someone feed you. You can't take a shit. Don't shit in the iron lung because you're yeah. fucking stuck in it. Because if you come out, you die. Yep. So, guess what vaccines do? They what do save, vaccines do? They save you from that kind of an existence. I think I'm going the wrong way. Which way are you? <laughs> um, I don't see you on my mini map. Oh, that's that glitch again. Uh, I think you are going. Hang on. I turned around. Oh yeah, you, now you're going the right way, but you're kind of. Oh god. Away. I just volleyed myself into a poison gas crater. Whoops. Faster. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we're going to have to inject actual coal into these generators because the whole system is dead now. So that's not good. Are you manually pumping coal into that power plant? I'm going to have to. Um this is going to this is going to be kind of annoying, so we'll just continue on. We have to make another power plant down here. We have to make a second coal plant. It's going to be super annoying. So anyways, So, yeah. Vaccines have been around a while, and they save us from a piss-poor existence. Fast forward, you know, 200 years, because the polio vaccine is fairly new, right? We only only invented that, you know, this last, this past century. Yeah, which was, that was cool. Like, do you, anyone here know anybody who's got polio? Like, they're like, bro, great grandpa had to deal with polio. Do you know why? Yeah, and that's just it, is that nobody you know or I know or anybody that is ever going to view this will know of anybody with polio. So it's Well, we about... can't say will know. We can say does know. Yeah, does know. Yeah, the way exactly. things are going. Yeah. And that's the thing, is it's out of public consciousness now, right? Because, oh... Look let's... how good a job it did. Yeah, it's like nobody knows about it. It did such a good job that nobody knows about it. Sometimes if you do everything right, they won't even know if you did anything at all. Yeah, it's a good saying. Um, and now here we are. We have a largely growing sector of people that believe that vaccines are useless. That they don't work. Or... They actually believe that they're worse than useless. Yeah. And that's what we're getting into, is that people believe that vaccines cause things like autism. As as a um, diet autism, I find this quite offensive. 
<laughs> what I think is nuts is that even if, even if there was even a remote chance that it does cause autism. How the you... hell did you get over there? Uh, I, I don't think I can cross this river with your delivery. Oh, yeah, I swam. I totally swam. Uh, let's do this real quick. I'll build a bridge. But if there's even a remote chance that um, vaccines cause autism, you kind of owe it to civilization to do it. But what get autism? Yeah, well, to yeah, take have autism, to... it's not so bad. Look <laughs> at mean... me, I'm a semi-functioning member of society. Yeah. I mean, just just saying that you know, it's there is no chance that you get autism. That whole thing about autism was fake. The doctor, yeah, he, I believe, the doctor who said it has even come back and been like, "Hey, yeah, that was bullshit." No, I'm he... very sorry. No, he never did. So, the thing is, um, it was a British scientist or a British doctor named Andrew Wakefield. Okay? British. Yeah, he posted in his scientific journal that it was like a little blurb and somewhere in there about linking autism to vaccines against the other people that were writing that scientific journal with him. They didn't agree with his findings. He posted them anyways, and he has since lost his license to practice medicine because he's full of shit. There's this thing called peer-reviewed. It's right. sort of required. Right, and that's so... Uh, fundamentally, people don't understand how science works, and that could be another episode for another time. Um, but he lied because he wanted to do something sensational. He wanted some fame, whatever it nice was. Nice bridge, but how am I supposed to get over there? Uh, drive? Oh, you see the... There's a ramp by the other platform. Remember? Oh, I just had to build a ramp over the uh, the water piping. Uh, ah, look! A nice unfinished cliff. Uh, i am like to speak to the city engineers. Uh, it's a good thing I always bring concrete with me. I see you building off in the distance. Yeah. But, so, Andrew Wakefield lied. And oh, you have a name? Yeah. Do you have a face? We should give them a face at some point. Yeah. Well, whenever I get Stream Deck figured out, I'll, I'll actually have that stuff ready. And I'll we'll have a up. handy infograph. You know what? I guess that's something I could do when I do the YouTube videos, is pop up that kind of stuff. We but, can even draw a mustache on him, or perhaps a, a wiener. Yeah, well, that guy would need a wiener drawn on his face because he's a dickhead. Oh, it got foggy out. I lost my direction. <laughs> so, he lied. Here we are, you know. And it's funny. No one ever reads science articles anyway. And yet, the really shitty one that you don't want them to read somehow became read. Yeah, because it ended up in a magazine, and then people just kind of went with it. And it was kind of like confirmation bias, right? So people yeah, want yeah, you see what you want to see, right? People want an excuse for why you know kids were developing, you know, mental disorders. Uh, that's not to say that autism is a mental disorder. I actually, I'm of the opinion that autism is actually the next stage of human evolution. But he said, yeah. lying. He said autistically. Yeah, no, I really do. I think I think there's something to that, but that's neither here nor there either. Um, so people wanted an excuse, they, they made this shit up, and they didn't want it, they wanted someone to be someone's fault. Right, exactly, they wanted an excuse, and you know what, now, um, what's even nuts is that now there's plenty of science that, you can't really prove where autism came from, but you can, you do know that, like, vaccines aren't the cause of it. Because another one of the arguments that people have are, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I've done my research and you I sit I, on the toilet for two hours and decide you knew something. Yeah, yeah. Well, they 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 don't they only ever cherry pick information because, yeah, if you you can cherry pick all the information you want, but it's never going to actually prove anything for you. Um, 
because like if you broke let's say you broke down the um the chemical compounds of apples for instance and it's like manganese oh, yeah, the, sodiate four you'd be like wow that sounds terrible of, it's actually delicious if you must know yeah well the the thing about the thing about medication is when you mix it it turns into a different chemical right which becomes it's also contain harmless. arsenic fun fact right but you know poison very bad apple very delicious oh look there he is i made it it wasn't easy but i made it nice don't you build something in my way i'm actually building it up to try to get it out of your way that's funny you need to make this car accessible. Your uh, your delivery is in the workbench. Nice, thanks. So, anyways, yeah, you you can't you can do your research, but also you can't do your research and then suddenly become you know a chemical engineer. I'm sorry, it just doesn't work that way. You might think it does, but it doesn't. It, doctors go to college for what seven years? longer it's eight and, and you ought to know what they're doing yeah they they never they never stop going to school I'm not letting the mother of brintley tell me what the fuck to do with everything yeah you can't even name your kid without an excess of vowels and consonants so that's what's nuts too is that like i don't understand Ooh. i don't understand how people are like well i'm a mom so i know like that suddenly gives Just you some kind you of clout. Just because you let somebody dream pop you doesn't make you a better person than me, <laughs> or more knowledgeable, right? Oh, hey, look, we have a commenter. I think we saw this guy before. Uh, the nice. price is lower than any competitor. Wow. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad that you're participating in the conversation. Yeah, first time chat. Porn bots are people too. Oh boy, thanks, Dad. Yeah, the, the the smallpox vaccine is fascinating. The way they developed that, very impressive. Is this is this the one where they like experimented on like people? Well, well, obviously, all science requires experimentation. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, so the smallpox vaccine is interesting in the sense that, uh, yeah, they, they basically just took smallpox and, like, stuffed it in people's wounds. They and like, used Here you go. cowpox, which was a lesser form of smallpox at the time, and they, like, they'd scrape some pus out of a wound infected with cowpox and then smear it into a cut on your arm. They, I don't know that they had needles, but they are like, hey, what's this do? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. And then, you know, the fun part, they have to expose you to smallpox to see what happens. <laughs> yes, the fun part. Correct. Fun uh, in the fact that science... Honestly, science is pretty fucked when you think about it. it literally, it's literally Cave Johnson. I don't know what we're going to do to get power back here because we got to power this shit up over here first. <sighs> it's going to be annoying. Oh, you know what? No, I, I know what to do. Okay, we'll be fine. But I keep going on my little tangents. So vaccines aren't bad. <laughs> They are wow. oh. they are fine. They're not going to kill you. What will kill you is not taking your goddamn vaccines. What will kill you is polio. Yes. That's like I, I, I see, I'm seeing news articles more and more about measles outbreaks in small towns. Yeah, well, that's kind of like why we were done with measles. We figured that shit out. Yeah, that's why I, that's honestly what kind of made you me fucked this up. It's kind of what made me want to talk about this is that like I can't believe that measles is on the rise, and measles isn't something like a common fucking cold. Okay, it's not something that you're gonna be like, oh, 
uh, it's fine. I'll just get it, and then I'll have an immunity. No, it can kill your ass. And then if it doesn't like, kill you, it's going like to debilitate a, you. It's like a chicken pox. You get it as a kid, ah, whatever. You get it as an adult, and I, I believe you become infertile. Yeah, there's a, there's a extremely high chance that it can make you sterile. Um, I mean, but, some of you probably should be sterile, but yeah. that's neither here nor there. The worst part about that, though, is not the sterility, it's the... Um, oh, really? Yeah, no, it just can outright kill you. That's, the sterility is not a problem. No, 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 it is. It's not. Um, <laughs> Don't worry. No, it's, it's the fact that it can just outright kill you. So, you know... Damn you, Factorio. You've been playing that lately? Or no, satisfaction. What game we're Brian, come find out a way to murder me. I need to reset. <laughs> just to kill yourself. There's literally an option just to kill yourself. Really? Well, I'd have to walk all the way back here. How did I fixed this once before? I don't remember how. We gotta do Factorio. Uh, hey, look, if we had maybe a viewer to suggest it. Factorio let's, or Rimworld. Let's 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 ask Magic Nubits. <laughs> yeah, we can discuss the uh, the Geneva Convention while harvesting organs. <laughs> the Geneva. Remember, <laughs> in space there is no Geneva. Correct. I love that. Someone will be reading a fantasy book and they'll be like, "My God, that's a war crime." I don't think uh, Middle Earth has a Geneva, so they can do whatever they want. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, spaghetti. Oh God, I died on purpose. Well, the ragdoll. Oh. There we go. Try not to molest my corpse. I'll try. Try really hard. Um. Got me stuck on the Geneva thing. Uh. Vaccines? <laughs> yeah. They're good. Now, uh. Thanks, well, we, Tanya. Very cool. We were. We, I was actually building up to the COVID stuff. Because. Okay, yeah, let's go to current events. Right, so we, we kind of talked... we covered history well enough? Oh, well, not it's well... It's not that important right this second. No, because honestly, the whole... The crux of this conversation isn't so much about the history of vaccines, but more like, what the fuck, why aren't we worried about... Like, it's Kelsey about sitting on the toilet with her smartphone. That is the problem here. Yeah. Sh yeah. Just because your mom doesn't mean you know what the fuck you're talking about. Anyways. Like, you need a license to drive a car, but not to bring a human being into the world? Or, that, that's a different subject entirely. So, you need a license to drive a car, but you think your four hours on the, on the crapper is enough information... That's you enough information to know what vaccines are? And you how can barely get hired at the health food store you work at. You do not have the required amount of experience here. Yeah, so trust your doctors. All right, if you have a doctor that's like, I don't, I don't believe in vaccines. Okay, find a new doctor or trust them, and then put your life in there or put your life at risk. Yeah, it's fine. Look, 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 what you do to yourself is completely your business, but uh, what you do to your children? Now, see, that's that's where the whole functioning society thing comes in, where it's like, hey, right. as a functioning society, we can't let people do dumb shit. Yeah, and you're getting to the true crux of what I wanted to talk about is that the fact that you keep pushing a false agenda and you keep, you know, putting other people in danger, that's when I start having a problem. Because you, um, are, you are putting people in danger when you're not vaccinating yourself you, your kids. You, I don't know if you've seen it. How, how, how much are you on Reddit? I'm on Reddit all the goddamn time. Have you heard of the Herman Cain Award? No, I have not heard of that though. Uh, it's an entire the Herm, Herman Cain was somebody. I he was politician maybe. I don't actually know, but he was against vaccines and he died of COVID. So now the 
subreddit, their theme is they delete names and pictures for privacy, but show someone's history of anti-vaccinations Facebook posts, and then their obituary where they died from COVID. Oof. <laughs> Holy and then shit. And won the Herman Cain Award. Holy shit. That's, that's pretty brutal. It's, an, it, it's sort of like the Darwin Award in that you have to be dead to receive it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's fair. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So on to current events, though, because I know that we'll um, we'll kind of differ in opinion on this. Um, co vaccines are fine. We don't have smallpox. We don't have measles. We don't have polio. You know, we don't have hepatitis. I mean, it's very hep nice not having polio. Yeah, I like, enjoy it. Like, I mean, hepatitis exists, but you can be vaccinated for it. Tetanus. Yeah. Uh, have you ever Have you ever just locked up and died because you got stabbed by a twig? Yeah. Guess what? Thank you. Tetanus, tetanus is sister. terrifying. Yeah. Not as bad terrifying as rabies, but scary. Tetanus is truly terrifying in that it's literally everywhere. You can get tetanus from like cutting yourself on a floor mat. Yeah, it's not, not rusty know. nails like everyone thinks. It just right. lives in dirt. The reason why it lives in rusty nails is because rust is very porous. Rust itself is sterile, right? But yeah, uh, like you, you know, Jenny, anything reduced to the elemental state is sterile. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So here's some science. But the thing is, rust is very porous, and it offers excellent uh, holes for bacteria to thrive in. I Therefore, don't know that holes is the scientific term. Yeah, well, porous. I mean, it's not. It's porous, so like pockmarks and stuff like that. But so, anyways, you usually find rusty nails and dirt, and that's where tetanus tetanus can like kind of like you know live out in the porousness of rusty nails. That's why they say rusty nails can do it, but it's really the fact that they're dirty and the porous. Anyways, doesn't matter. We don't have all this uh, shit. I got you monologuing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. You dirty dog. Um. But that's that's why we have that stuff, right? So now we don't have to worry about a lot of that. And soon we are going to have an HIV vaccine. That's pretty cool. We will vouch we my AIDS. Yeah. Well, I mean, how cool is that? That like Charlie you know, Sheen is invested. Yes, so is Magic Johnson. Now it might be a little late for Magic Johnson. No, he's all right. But, I mean for to be vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But let's... I, I love that. Uh, people are like, ah, oh, oh, you can't let Magic Johnson play foot so, uh, basketball. That's the one. He's got AIDS. I'm, I'm pretty sure the players aren't having um, penetrative sex while on the court, so it's not really a big deal. Yeah, and they're not sharing needles. Uh, it's fine. While but... on the court. Okay, they might be, but that's beside the point. Yeah, they used to, so there used to be a huge stigma on AIDS. Like you know, people were very afraid to even get near somebody with AIDS. Thanks, Princess Diana. Too yeah. bad about that um, brake malfunction. Too bad. <laughs> so it's just too bad. Current events: COVID happened, you know, late 2019, early 2020. Um, My God, it's been going for so long. Yeah. So Wuhan ha was dealing with that in the 2019s. People were getting sick in the U.S. in late 2019. We shut down in March. Okay. A vaccine mm. came out in 2020, right? Now, very, that was very fast. Extremely fast. Everybody became an epidemiologist instantly, overnight, right? I did not... And I'm not going to poo-poo on the anti-vaxxers too much. That is suspiciously fast. Uh, we'll you got me there. We will get there. We'll get there. Um. So everybody... Okay, well, let's talk about that. Everybody was upset that the shit happened really fast. That, oh, here we go. We have a vaccine super quick. There's a reason why it was super quick because mRNA vaccines. Now, mind you, I do not work with mRNA. I don't know very much about epidemiology or how to create you vaccines. Fixed, well, you don't even fix tractors. You are nearby people who fix tractors. Correct. So I don't know enough to speak too intelligibly about it, but I get the gist. The whole thing about the mRNA vaccine is that we have been working on mRNA vaccines forever, for like 25 years, because the whole point of mRNA vaccines are, it's like a blank slate of a shot, okay? You can program- you can put whatever you want in. Correct. That was the whole idea, because we're really focused on genetic medicine and making things personalized. 
And that's what mRNA vaccines were supposed to be, like personalized medicine that like you could get, if you were sick, they could take a culture of you and they'd be like, okay, this is what he has. We're going to program this specific, specific vaccine to fight it. And mRNA was perfect because yes, it does in a way modify your DNA, but not like you're thinking. Okay. It kind of adds to it. It doesn't take strands out. It doesn't rewrite what's already there. It, it turns me into the spawn of Satan. Yeah. <laughs> I now have double autism, yeah. you bastard. <laughs> double super autism. Mega. B -b 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 mega. But By the power of autism. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> but what it does do is it does uh, add sequences to your DNA to be like, hey, this is bad. We probably should deal with this. Um, oops, I think I got it. Nope, I don't know. You don't. Um, now so how anyways, much power are you drawing? Uh, this is I'm only just trying to start up the, the three pumps and the two, uh, three pumps and Jesus. the two lines. Yeah, I know. What do you get these things running on? Leaves? Yes. Sometimes you just got to flip the switch a bunch of times. Ah, see? Well, I did add more fuel to the fire. Oh. Jeez. I thought I had it. So. Oh, it makes cool spooling up noises. It does. I do like the noises. Autism. Yeah, speaking of which. So, anyways. On to the speedy side. We made this vaccine to be... To respond quickly to stuff like this. Honestly... MRNA vaccines were a little too young. We hadn't figured them out entirely. That is true. Um, we spent a ton of money streamlining the development of this to try and get something working and viable. Because COVID, whether you want to admit it or not, was bad enough to kill 5% of the world's population. 5% doesn't, cool. yeah, doesn't seem like a lot, though, does it? No, how many could that possibly be, Brian? Well, I'm glad you asked, Garrett, because 5% of the world's population, if we're doing simple math, let's round up. let us I know there's not 8 billion people, but if you round up... It's pretty close. Yeah, if you round up, there are 8 billion people on the planet, okay? 10% of 8 billion is how many? Um, 800,000? <laughs> or 800... 8 million. 800 million. 800 million. This is the large number. That's 10%. Half of 10% so, is 5%, correct? Yeah, that checks what's, out. What's half of 800 million? 400 million. Correct. Yay! We did Show him what guys. he's wanting, Brian. We won 400 million corpses. Whoa! Is this the zonk? This is not the zonk, but close. <laughs> 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 Um, Why are we laughing? This is terrible. This is frightening. So, 400 million people. Are you okay with 400 million people dying? I mean, I didn't know. Maybe I'm not the best person to ask. That That's a lot, though. That's significant. Somebody ought to be mad about it. 400 million people is, this is more than the United States. Okay, how many people live in the United States? I need perspective here. 340 million. Oh, so it basically killed the entire population of the United States. Yep, if we left it untreated. Well, I, I thought that was actual dead people number. No, actual dead people. It was uh twenty something million. Okay, so that it, that's a projected number then. Yeah, well, that's that was what I was saying is that that if we never treated it, we would be, you know, we would have seen, you know. 20 million or uh, 400 million people dead potentially so the black plague killed a third of europe or is it two-thirds of europe a third of europe I'm, I'm i'm reading an article right now let's see let's see if i can get a number approximately a third of europe yep. this is a lot of europe there were less people there then because i i like the um i don't like it but 
people give you- Ah, oh, the Black Plague went away without a vaccine. That's because it well, killed- It killed enough people off that it couldn't spread anymore. Fun fact, the Black Plague reoccurred every, I believe, spring. There were breakouts of the Black Plague approximately every spring for about 300 years or so. Uh, it didn't go away. It, uh, take a look around you. People get COVID again in the fall, in the spring. It comes in waves. Right. Imagine doing that for the rest of your life. And it's continuously evolving. That's the that's the real fucked up thing about COVID is that it evolves really fast. But the other side thing too is, did you know the Black Plague is alive and well in Texas? Texas? Yep. The, the Black Plague. The Black Plague. And people get infected in the United States with the Black Plague. It's like 95 people a year. Why are people in Texas specifically getting the Black Plague? Because... There's no way to truly get rid of it now. It's just an endemic. We can treat it. It's if you get it quick enough, you can definitely treat it. And it's I thought you cough in the morning and then you die. Nope. No, no, no. Isn't it, that the thing? Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Da 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 da. You're fucking dead. Yeah. No. It takes a while to kill you. Um, it takes a fair decent amount of time for it to kill you. A uh, couple weeks. Well, putting the trust in Wikipedia, it says 75 to 200 million people died in Europe during the Black Plague. Yep. That's less, sure. But you know what else was less? The population of Europe. Well, that's the point, though, is that how many people it killed and in such a short time. Ignoring the scaling, during the Black Plague, the Black Plague, you know, the worst disease anyone's ever heard of, killed half as many people as COVID-ish. Now that's a number I didn't realize. And that's that's like a rough guesstimate. It may have been actually less than that. That's fucking nuts to think about. You'd think we could do better than medieval serfs with our disease prevention. We could have. Nothing against a medieval serf. I'm sure they're doing their best. <laughs> well, we could have, but, you know, that's a different conversation entirely. But we didn't. We specifically in the US had a government that was hell bent on denying everything. Ah, it's bad for the elections when you tell every people that everyone's dying. Yeah. yeah exactly. People don't want to hear that everyone's dying. So, rounding it back to COVID vaccines, we we developed something quickly because people were dying fast. You heard a bunch of numbers just now. There was a reason why we developed it that fast. Is because we can we be to. fast when everyone on the planet decides to do something. Correct. If They basically said, here, have unlimited money. How quickly can you get this done? And the scientists all lost their shit and said, very quickly. Because scientists don't ever see unlimited money. When they see unlimited money, they can do crazy things, especially in the U.S. That's uh, the thing about science. You, you just throw more money at it, we could be living in any sci-fi book you want. Yes, and that's even more true now than you know, because, uh, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Killer manslaughter. <laughs> Got wrecked. Where did you drop that stuff off at? And that's do you, in the toolbox. And do you have, oh, do you have cable? Hang on. Um, that might be in my pocket. Yeah, I need some cable if you can. Um, uh, here, have 200 cable. Oh no, there's a network error. Not a network error. So you're saying I shouldn't shoot you in the face with this rebar gun? I mean, I wouldn't. Ow. <laughs> uh, I didn't shoot you in the face. Uh, I didn't shoot you in the face. Uh, I didn't know that ragdolled. Cool. Do you want this cable or not? Yes, please. I need it. I need it. Thanks. Um. Yeah. Where were we? Hey, if we seem a little disjointed, Brian's been drinking. Literally all day. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Correct. But also, you have to wake up in the morning. Mm, yes. A problem arises. Ah. 
But now here we are. We have the mRNA vaccine. Cool, people, right? Yeah, cool. But people don't want to take it because we had we dumped unlimited money in it. It was fine. Cool. Now here we are. Nobody wants to take the thing because they're afraid of dying? Question mark. I don't know. I mean, are they? Is anyone left afraid of dying? Because I'm getting pretty jaded. I'm not really sure that it's the worst thing to happen. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing, too. Um, yes, there were some problems. People did have some reactions to vaccines, like normal. Reactions to vaccines aren't an abnormal thing. Like, You ever get the flu shot and feel like ass? Shit happens. Yeah. And honestly, people do die from the flu shot. It, it, fuck, it, it unfortunately, it goddamn happens. That's just is what it is yeah when uh, i took my job working with uh equipment that cleaned sewers and they had me vaccinated for hepatitis before they let me work on the equipment because they may not have cared about any of my safety but if i died from hepatitis it would look bad <laughs> yeah i got the f that's a three-part shot you know one it's like three weeks three months or three days three weeks three months something i don't remember but uh the first shot, I felt like ass. I felt like I had a cold for an entire week. It was not fun. Yeah. But to this day, I don't have hepatitis, and I have crawled around in the sewer and power washed turds. <laughs> so, seems to be working. Yeah. Also, people, don't flush tampons. I see that shit. I see you, bitches. <laughs> you can't hide anything from the man who cleans the sewer. <laughs> How did you get an entire t-shirt down the toilet? I want to know. <laughs> Asking for a friend. I seen it down there. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. And so, we have a point in time where we have this amazing, amazing technology. We have... A vaccine that can protect you against one of the deadliest diseases that have sprung up in the modern era, and people say it's all a, it's all a hoax, right? Oh yeah. Besides the not taking the vaccine, the disease doesn't even exist. But that could be an episode in and of itself. We're worried about vaccines right now. So, Brian, have you hmm. got the COVID vaccine? I did. I how, how many boosters have you got? One booster. I started off with a Johnson and Johnson, and I got the what you call it, that one booster, whatever the generic one, and that's it. That's what I got. And Pfizer. guess what? I'm, it's strange that uh, pharmaceutical companies are household names now. It didn't used to be like that. Correct. And guess what? And guess what? Are you dead? No, I'm not only not dead, but I also got COVID. <laughs> But who how many knows? times have you had COVID? So here's the thing, though. With me, I don't know because I got deathly, deathly ill. The sickest I've ever gotten in the beginning of 2020. Actually, it was the end of 2019. Uh, it was December 12th, 2019. I got so sick that I didn't get better until about May of. No, actually, it was June of next year. I was sick for about six months. Uh, That's a long time to be sick. Yeah, I've never been sick like that in my life, ever. Uh, it was, I had um, shortness of breath, extreme ex extreme exhaustion. Um, what else did I have? Uh, oh, I was actually heavily working out at that point too. Um, that was really it doesn't show. Correct, but that was when I had, I was down to 215 pounds okay congratulations it's good for me um yeah I, yeah I, I was meant that sincerely i had um i had lost a ton of weight um i was running two miles a day almost every day it was like five days a week um that's weird i don't know why we don't have power There we go. That was super weird. Um, so anyways, yeah. I was running two miles a week. I was weightlifting. I was going to the gym four days a week. Um, and then, you know, exercising up to six days a week. Uh, 
And then all of a sudden I couldn't do any of that anymore. None of it. Uh, I, when I went up to, when I would go up my stairs, I have like a, a split level stair, right? So like you go up like a half flight and it turns. They have and, a landing. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't make it to the landing. Um, and that didn't really get better until about April of 2020. And the weird thing is, is that guy at work was like, Hey, I just got back from China. So there's, and he was talking about it. He was like, there's something weird going on over there. He was like, there's, they're, they got, they're sick again. He was like, uh, he's like, he's like, I'm afraid. He was like, I, I might've picked something up, but he was like, he was like, luckily I'm here for vacation. So he's like, maybe I dodged it. And it wasn't Chinese Says guys. the just, man who was in the beginning of world, what is that? World War Z? Yeah. You're yeah. literally the guy at the start of the movie. I know. That's why this is. That's why it's so weird. My experience is so weird because he came from that area. It was like the Shenzhen province. He's just a white dude that had a business over there, and he was just here for the holidays because he was here for Christmas holidays with his family. And um, thanks, buddy. Yeah. So I got super sick. My doctor. I. I don't ever go to the doctors. I went twice. I went to a medical clinic, and then I went to my actual doctor. They're both like, we don't know what's wrong with you. You're kind of faking. Just get over it. They gave me CPACs. They gave me antibiotics. They gave me all hey. kinds of shit. Nothing helped. And yet, Brian remained sick. I not only remained sick, but there was a time where I stopped breathing in the middle of the night so bad that I, I like when I was gasping for breath, I blew a blood vessel in my eye. That's and unusual. Not only is it unusual, I also lost my voice for like two months so how many times did i have covid i say twice because my most recent one was this year but it wasn't nearly as bad like i it felt like just a bad flu i was like okay whatever but that first time i'm not pretty good. sure that was covid and uh i would not want i would not wish that on anybody again like the that, genuine fresh covid Instead yeah. of being dulled down by pass through, I think the fat Americans probably weakened the virus as much as the virus weakened them. Yeah, and like I said, I, I'm I'm much heavier now than I was then, and like the second time around, I I did fine. But I'm telling you, that first time was scary. I've never been that ill before. Oh no! Stay down. Final warning. <laughs> How about you? How many times have you had COVID? Okay, well, well, for starters, I have not got the shot. No vaccination. Not for lack of belief, just I'd have to go somewhere and do it. <laughs> and that would require effort, and therefore, haven't. So just out of sheer laziness, basically. <laughs> yes, literally. I've had COVID uh, tested twice. Neither times felt very bad. The worst feeling was not getting paid for two weeks. <laughs> and that I felt think, pretty bad. And I think therein lies the problem, right? Is that some people got it and they're like, oh, you're just a bunch of pussies. I, I'm perfectly fine, right? And then I felt I the first time I had it for like one day, I was, the fever got kind of high and I was loopy and out of it and thought I might die and had some dope ass dreams, but that was about the extent of it. Yeah, so like, there's plenty of people that get at that, and then there's the the doctor that works, you know, twelve hours a day, who's super fit and super healthy, you know, the twenty eight year old that just keels over and dies. Funny how it be like that. That's, but that's what's weird. It, it's not weird. That's what diseases do. Like they affect everybody differently, right? That's why we took this so seriously too, because like, that's why there was a big conspiracy about it being a bioweapon because it had a key to our genome, right? It attached perfectly fine through whatever protein that was. Like, it was made to do that. And the conspiracy theories say it has actually been confirmed that it was developed in a lab in Wuhan, but I never actually looked into that because I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, not only do I not care, but I also... Laziness strikes back. Also, I don't, I don't like the whole do your research culture. Even though I'm the kind of person that says, like, you know, do your research... The problem with that research is, is it's incredibly biased, and... Are you researching to prove yourself wrong? Probably not. Well, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, is like... You're, you're not going to find anybody that's going to do research other than scientists that are like, Hey, this is wrong, and... I just love to be wrong. It's cool. Yeah, they actually like being wrong more than they like being right. 
The scientists, true scientists are a weird breed, man. But like, you know, Jenny, who has her stupid WordPress blog, is not a good source of information or scientific review. No, I don't believe the the peer reviewing there actually doesn't help because her peers are also morons. <laughs> yes. That's like jury of your peers. If someone gets arrested because they're a moron, do you have to find like 12 morons to decide if they're guilty? They did say peers. Yeah. So honestly, finding 12 morons is not a problem. It's not. But here we are. So I mean, how people are still dying from COVID. It hasn't stopped. Yeah, so that's the thing that we're... I know kinda... lots of people who got the vaccine and got sick anyway. I don't know anyone who got the vaccine, got sick anyway, and then died. Yeah, I, I know there are people that that happens to, but I don't know of anybody that's died that's had the vaccine. It's considerably less. Um, because most, most... Anecdotal evidence is concrete. Yeah, but most... <laughs> But most people that have the vaccine are able to fight it a lot better than if they don't. And that's what I'm trying to say is like, yes, there were problems with the COVID vaccines. 100% there were. But the entire world came together to do something, which hasn't really happened before and probably won't happen again. And they did it. Right. It works. And like, what was it? Six to eight months they got that thing working? Yeah. and Very impressive. Yeah, and so I, I got the J&J &J vaccine. I wish that I didn't get the J&J &J vaccine, but... I have a problem with Johnson and Johnson, no relation. <laughs> but when people talk about long-term side effects, so I don't know how many people need to hear this, but vaccines don't really work that way. If you're going to have side effects, when they, when they refer to long-term... They mean like six to eight weeks. After that, if you don't have any side effects, you ain't gonna have any side effects. And that's kind of like the mind blown moment that I wish people would realize that like long term in vaccine terminology doesn't it's mean not like that long. It doesn't mean that like 10 years down the road, you're going to develop AIDS. It just means that like in six to eight weeks, you might have a heart attack and you need to watch out. This is considered to be bad. Generally speaking. Generally speaking, yes. But if you don't, in six to eight weeks, you're fine. And yes, there were people that were having some heart problems with the J&J &J vaccine. I, fortunately I, enough, was not the person for that. I have a heart condition, and the fact that I'm lazy, notwithstanding, I wonder, would that be a bad idea? I do have a heart condition. Maybe not, but maybe. But also, there's, too, there's also been heart problems from getting COVID. That's the point that I was just going to make, is that COVID itself causes heart problems. So, Do I want the person giving me heart problems to be a disease or somebody I can sue? <laughs> but you fortunately had it twice and you haven't died, so what's the point of yeah. getting the vaccine at this point? As you can see, I'm not dead. <laughs> I am very much still above ground. Okay. Rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. Yeah. But here's the other side that I want to bring up. Is that COVID is constantly evolving. That is not an abject fact. It's just a solid fact. It is constantly turning into something new because it is a rapidly evolving virus. Because the damn Chinese keep changing it. <laughs> yes. But with that being said, it is extremely important to keep getting your boosters, especially if you're elderly, because you will die from one of these variants eventually. Even if you're somebody that has like some sort of like you're you're prone to like pulmonary problems like myself with asthma or bronchitis or something like that. You should seriously think about getting the vaccine every year. Because, uh, here you go. We have, uh, flu vaccines every year. And guess what? They're not 100% effective. I'm fairly lazy. I hardly ever get those either. But people used to die from the flu. That was a thing that happened. People still die from the flu. 
quite frequently. Uh, I don't, but rip to them, but I'm different. I'm just, I just be built differently, yo. Literally. But yeah, I mean, people people do. People die all the time from the flow. It's, it's quite tragic. The thing is, I don't want to see anybody die from a preventable disease. Yeah, it's it's like, hey, you didn't have to die. And yet here you are, winner of the Herman Cain Award, dead by your own fault? Dead is it really their fault? They didn't just... some. There, was it their own echo chamber of like-minded people? Was it one bad article? Why did they decide this? Yeah, well... That I don't know. That's the question that we all have to answer, right? Like, why did you decide not? Like, why did you decide to stop eating or stop taking vaccines? Like, what? I don't. I don't get it. Like, I mean, I guess that should be another episode. But I think that's just the problem that we have in general is that people do get stuck in their own little echo chambers, and they, I don't know, they listen to the wrong people. You know, it's not and then like you get banned on Twitter. Yeah, it's a bad time. It's not like religion, okay? Religion is intangible. It requires faith. The reason why I like science is because you can get philosophic and say that, yes, science does require a bit of faith, but it, it more... You gotta have faith. It more deals with abject fact and a observable fact, not just, you know, like... For science to be successful, it has to say, oh... This is how it is. I see how it is, and I see how it interacts with the overall body of the experiment, right? And yeah, what I'm getting at is, is that we know for a goddamn fact that not only do vaccines work, but the COVID vaccine drastically redu reduces deaths amongst everybody, but mostly, specifically, when they talk about these deaths, they're really talking about 60 plus, but there are people that the are- The elderly. Yeah, they are talking about people our age that are susceptible to it. Like, we can still get sick and die. But it is mostly for the elderly. But that's just it. It's like, I don't, I don't want to see people die. And I just want to see people, like, uh, move on. Live. Live. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know how Do you to want that. To, Nobody wants to murder the elderly. We can all agree on that. And yeah. yet, you might... And, you know, how many, how many sad stories have people had that like they went to go visit you know their parents or grandparents up, up Jenkins yeah and they didn't realize that they had covid and then they ended up killing them for christmas what the come merry on merry christmas no not so merry yeah it's it's so sad get your damn shots people like, get your kids vaccinated, get your dog vaccinated, get your cat vaccinated, just do it. I mean... You pay to get your dog vaccinated? That's a thing? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm not even gonna have this conversation with you, because I already know. you. My dog is deceased, but I don't believe it was related. He was 13. <laughs> you should have got him vaccinated against death. Yeah, that would have helped immeasurably, I'm sure. Literally, immeasurably, because we can't measure. Uh, all I'm saying is that vaccines serve a goddamn purpose in life. Hmm. And ultimately, what's going to end up happening, what's going to end up happening is because COVID's still around and people, people kind of lost interest. People aren't following it. COVID, it's not interesting anymore. COVID could evolve to become the new yearly flu thing, right? And it can get to the point where, like, when you get it, even if you're vaccinated, it could kill you. The thing about rapidly evolving viruses like this is you don't know what they're... They do evolve fairly rapidly. Yeah, but you don't know what they're ultimately capable of doing. Because uh, viruses don't want to kill their hosts, but they could it's evolve It's bad that. for business. Yes, they, they could evolve Anyone ever that. play uh, Plague Inc.? Killing people is the last thing you want to do. Yeah, Till you, you get everyone sick. Because you want to infect everybody.
so anyways, just be kind, rewind, and don't don't be don't be an asshole. You know? That's all. It's it's fairly straightforward. But do you think uh, uh, here's another thing, so because we're kinda getting close to the time limit here. Do you think that vaccines should be mandatory? Yeah, see, the mandate was, I think, what got a lot of people. Like, hey, we have a COVID shot. You can get it and probably not die. But instead it was, hey, we have a COVID shot. Get it or you lose your job and can't leave the country and uh, your dick falls off and whatever. Yeah, so I think... It's, it's, a, it's authority. The government yeah. telling me to get a shot? What's the government got to do with anything? They can fuck off. Yeah, and that's a very American I'm thing. I'm in favor too. of the government fucking off. Yeah, it's a very American thing. Is that that's that's where a lot of the breakdown happened. It's like, well, I'm not gonna let the government tell me what to do. They're trying to give me space aids. They're gonna put a tracking chip in my arm. Says he posted from his smartphone. Yeah, guess what? Uh, the government doesn't have that technology to do it in a syringe. You don't have to worry, guys. It's uh, a big syringe. You'd know the difference. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. What you do have to worry about is that they are tracking you in real time with any one of your smart devices up to and including your Alexa, your refrigerator, your Roomba, your smartphone, your smartwatch, yeah, the, the, your Fitbit. The best part of the 60s. Uh, oh no, the government might put a wiretap in my house. Now you're like, hey, government wiretap. How do I make pancakes? Yeah. Um, your, your, your Fitbit, your... Uh, uh, your smart pot, your Instapot, your coffee pot, your router. They know if it's connected to the Wi-Fi. The government is listening to you. They know everything. About they know you. what you did. Your TV. Yeah. So and you can take that to the bank because uh, your voice activated remote. Yeah, they know. OK, you don't have to worry about them injecting anything into you. They don't need to. They've already got your ass. You so, paid fourteen hundred dollars for a GPS locator, voice listener tour, and thing that you put all your bank passwords into. Yes. You They're, paid them for the privilege, dumbass. Yep. The government could shut your ass down instantly. I think we should do overnight. an episode on that. Yeah, that's like that's like standard that's IoT. One. It is. It's like standard IoT and internet safety shit, too. That's actually a really good one. But Well, you know what to look forward to, people. As yeah. long as you keep paying us, we'll keep saying dumb shit to you. <laughs> this is actually real shit, though. You know? And, you know, on to the mandates thing. I, personally, I do think... I uh, Big ol' asterisk. I hate government involvement in anything and everything. Yeah, I really do. fuck the government. But. Huge but. Whoa. The whoa. The, the same way that I feel about taxes. In order for a society to thrive... You need to spend money, correct? So you need to... How do you make money? The best way is through taxes. You print it. Yeah, no, no. Doi. The doi, yeah, no. <laughs> you just turn the money printer to on. Hello. <laughs> I think vaccines should be mandatory. If you want to be in society. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, but what if I don't want to be in society? How do I leave society? What do I do? You never can. Uh, and that's the thing. Is that no? Ah, you can't make everything mandatory. Nobody can leave society. Uh, even if you wanna. move to the mountains of Montana, you're still part of it in some way, shape, or form. How do you figure? Uh, unless, unless you are completely well, yeah, no, because you're reliant on probably like a generator or something for power. What do you need power for? No, I mean. So you're just gonna... Well, I guess it depends on your standard of living then, right? That's a different... Hello, problem. do you think the Amish are beholden to the electrical grid? Yes, they are. Especially around um, here. Most Amish communities do not use the grid. They will generate their own power if they need it. Yeah, how do they generate power? Oh, with a generator or something. But how that's, many Amish a, don't use electricity at all? Uh, well, I, the Lancaster Amish are different. They do not. But the Amish around here... Yeah, so, different. so where do they get those generators? You know, Home Depot. Correct. Interact. Yeah, with okay. They interact with society. But do they have to? Do they need electricity to live? Yeah. Probably they do. not. 
No, they do because they still use electricity to power like their grills and shit, like uh, their stoves, um, their lawnmowers and shit like that. Like they, they still use if electricity. If I ever see a Dutchman with a Roomba, I'm going to come unglued. I'm telling you, they exist. But yeah, but you don't need it. You, the you, point I'm getting at here is you don't need electricity. You don't. But the the thing I'm saying, the the point that I'm getting at is, if you want to disconnect from society, you're gonna have a shit existence. Because oh yeah. It's a simple life. Yeah, it's it's beyond simple, and it's extremely difficult to do. That's why we don't do it anymore. So, either way, it's a very fringe thing. So, you want to be a part of society, pay your taxes, and get fucking vaccinated. Because, honestly, all it's doing is endangering the rest of us. Um, and honestly, if you really, if you really want to fight me on this, uh, Penn and Teller, two of the world's most prolific libertarians, feel the you same way. You mean magicians? Yes. He's a magician, Brian. Penn and Teller. They make the tiger disappear. They're awesome, man. But they, they're also He very, doesn't speak. Uh, Penn, Penn doesn't. Teller does. Wait. No. Shit. It, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? But I don't think it is that way. One speaks, the other one doesn't. But Teller does not really tell. Yeah, but I'm just saying, um, they, they're libertarians. They're very political. And they believe that you should go get vaccinated. So go, go go do it. Just do it. It's fine. You're not going to die, and you'll be doing society a huge favor by not killing off, you know, generations babies. of Babies. Don't murder babies. Got it. That, yeah. That, that, I think that, does that, does that cover it? Any, think, okay, close, closing remarks, or was that it? Yeah, that was kind of closing remarks. I mean, ultimately, just... Just do it, you know. Let's get back. What if you're lazy? Well, then don't. But you're still gonna suffer the consequences, <laughs> you know. Uh, my all my life, buddy. Honestly, you know, the thing is, is like too on the job thing. You're putting your coworkers at risk, all like unnecessarily. To be fair, I don't like my coworkers. Yeah, it's true, but. <laughs> You're still putting them at risk. Yeah, so you got anything else you want to add? Um, that about sums it up. I don't, Brian has the shot. I don't have the shot. We both had COVID twice. Well, okay. He had it once after the shot, right? Yep. And once before. Yep. Um, neither one of us are dead. Anecdotal evidence being as unreliable as it is. This really means nothing. Yeah. Brian didn't die after he got the shot. It didn't kill him. True. Did, uh, did did your dick get smaller? Uh, it was already small, so. No. Did uh <laughs> did you feel sick after getting the shot? After actually after the shot, I got sick for a day. Uh, actually, probably a day and a half. That wasn't pleasant. Um, no, but did you take off work for it? Uh, actually, I did. I took the Monday off. Well, like, you, you take off work for the slightest provocation, so that's not really helpful. That is true. But yeah, but I got a hepatitis vaccine, a vaccine that most people aren't worried about. I got sick. I didn't feel well for a week. I also didn't get hepatitis. So these are all anecdotally, it seems okay. Also, I already had autism. My autism did not get any more powerful. I checked. <laughs> also... Neither of us have smallpox, polio, or measles, yeah. or red fever, or anything like that. So I'm not. Uh, yeah, I haven't got tetanus. Uh, uh, look up what happens when you die of rabies. If you're worried about that one, uh, I'd rather die of vaccine than die of rabies. If that was a thing. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah, vaccines good. Pretty cool, actually. It's like, hey. Take this magic potion that makes you immune to disease. Yeah. Is that not dope as hell? Yeah, it's it's very simple. It's it's not it does it's not government tracking. The stuff inside of it isn't poison. Like if it was poison, you would die instantly, you dumbasses. Like I'm um, yeah. Why but, would we poison you when we could just shoot you? Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's the other thing is the government is all powerful. If they wanted to kill you, it wouldn't. You be would be dead. It wouldn't be through vaccines, trust me. It would That's be like the most difficult way to do it. Yeah, because they're relying on the you. Government has to get past the FDA. Do you know how hard that is? 
Well, not to mention, they're like begging you. Like they're not even forcing you to do it. They're like, please go get the vaccine. And they're really, you're, you're a guy. That, needs your life. Yeah. And then you're like, nah, fuck you. And they're like, well, I have no, I have no recourse. I can't do anything. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. So just get your goddamn vaccines and vaccinate your damn kids. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, it's it's kind of fucked up if your kid gets polio because of you. Yeah, because then what are you gonna do? Because guess what? Once your kid gets polio, you can't unget polio. Okay? There's not a pill that cures polio. No. But there is a pill that prevents polio, so... Woo! I believe it was an oral vaccine for much of the 70s, so yeah. Polio prevention pill. Yeah, they, d they don't... The government isn't trying to kill you, because if it was, it would just do it. Alright. Brian is having difficulty articulating self due to day drinking. Yeah, massive day drinking, but I'm more just pissed off because... You know, wanting to do yeah. this episode, like, uh, you know, we, we talk about this stuff all the time. Wonderful but... viewers. I have pushed this episode off for a little bit because uh, Ziggy here has a strong opinion. And I wanted to get as many people possible together to alienate at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, people suck uh, for the most part. I mean, when it comes to stuff like this, because it's like, it's like, you know, everybody wants to be right, you know? And the thing about the pandemic is people were scared. And it's like, I guess, American bravado that nobody wanted to admit that they were scared. And, you know, that self-denial is what really led us down this rabbit hole of ultimately failure right people wanted to believe orange man that has no good things to offer society he's not a scientist he's a terrible businessman an awful leader and just a shit person and he told you to inject bleach into your veins and yet you wanted to believe him over the most renowned scientist in the scientific community, especially in his field. Uh. What the fuck? Seriously. I don't... I don't understand. I just don't. Like, his messaging was bad, and he, they've all said this. Um, I was watching Neil deGrasse Tyson the other day, and he was like, you know, I think... He's like, I think the failing was the messaging. He said because, like... He's you kind know, of a dick, too. Yeah, but he had a point, and he was saying that everybody wanted answers. You know, we were fighting a massive misinformation campaign, and he was like, you know, uh, er you know, they wanted to be the guys with the answers, like Fauci did. He was trying to be very succinct and concise because there's so much confusion, and he didn't want people to be confused. So he made almost absolutes, right? He was like, this is what you need to do. But the science was still developing. Every scientist in the community was like, ah, we shouldn't say it this way. But he had to in order to save as many people as possible. And that's why we are where we are, where we have people who are like, oh, we gotta we gotta arrest the Fouch for killing people. No, you don't. He did the best that he could with the idiots that he had. Yeah, I'd like to see you do better. <laughs> Correct. They can't. You know why? I can't. You know why? Because I'm not You're not a virologist? Yeah, I am not the world's leading virologist. Or neuroscientist. I I can't answer. I the did hard play questions. World of Warcraft and yeah. stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> yeah, I can't answer these hard questions. Literally, almost literally, nobody that ever is ever going to watch this can answer those hard questions. So, you could pause it, and literally, no one's ever going to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Trust your goddamn scientists. They're not out to kill you. Okay. Pray uh, that you. Bad for business to kill you. It's extremely bad for business. So, like, like anything else, there's always going to be a scientist with a opposing opinion. But the way science works is you look at the general consensus. If it's 50% or more, that means that ha that means that that's the consensus. That's what everybody thinks it is. But the reason for the skepticism with a 49% is that oh, you know what? There's some evidence that we haven't ruled out ruled out yet. And when they say there's evidence they haven't ruled out. That part of that 49% might just be guys that just haven't made their mind up yes or no, so they have to default say no. That's how yeah, science works. Yeah, it's it's constantly like the evolving. whole 9 out of 10 doctors recommend this toothpaste. 
Yeah, the tenth. There's yeah. not a dentist out there going, this toothpaste is actually bad for you. He's just like, I, you know, I was paid more by the other toothpaste company. Or, or yeah, that's actually more accurate, what you just said there. But it's obvious. But it's it's more like, yeah, I, it, I just, I don't have the data, so I can't give you an answer. And so that's the one out of ten, right? So science is constantly evolving. Stop questioning it. You're too fucking stupid to question it. Really. Uh, that, honestly, that's mostly... To alienate anybody, that's mostly what it is. Is that you just don't understand. I don't understand. You don't understand, Garrett. Like, we're not scientists. It's fine. That's why we have that job. We have professionals in these fields to tell us what to think. That's, well, why, we, that's why we hire these people, man. Yes. It's sort of their... Um, sort of what they do. Now, see, what happens is... If, you know, people started getting injections and their arms were falling off, then that would have been like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? That would have been the time where we were like, yeah, you know what? Oh, we it did happen, bro. And they're just covering it up. Yeah, I don't even want to get into that. That's I, don't, I, I don't only have pay, one arm. Yeah, I don't even want to pay attention to that. those kinds of claims, you know? So, anyways, I think that'll wrap up vaccines for the night, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that about covers it. I mean, if you can think of any more things we could have said to irritate more people, let yeah. us know. Yeah. If you we're, think of a topic that would irritate you to have us discuss it, let us know. Yeah, we're all about being we're, edgy edgelords. Hey, we will interact with the audience if we have to. <laughs> I'll always interact with the audience. Hey, but, hey, look, if you subscribe, we might even let you pick a topic. Honestly, that would be pretty cool. But... Yeah, like, gotta, give, give, give me something. Yeah. You gotta subscribe, and you gotta chat with us. You gotta hang out. Um, check us out. Check I us feel, out on YouTube. I feel all alone. Like I'm just talking to a drunk man in the middle of the night. That's exactly what you're doing. But am I even drunk, or am I just a figment of your imagination? Uh, I believe I'm the figment of your imagination, if last week is anything to go by. True. It's your super autism, though. That's, what's, that's what it is. You're but just anyways. jealous you didn't get super autism. <laughs> Like, regular subscribe, autism. Uh, hang out with us. Always here every Saturday, 9 p.m. Uh, on Twitch. And then also hey. YouTube. Every By Monday, we are going to roll it into overtime and bring in the new year with some booze and merriment. So, yeah, happy new year. Woo!